What's up, YouTube? Um, today, I want to do my first ever tech review about the Muse Brain Sensing Headband. I've had this thing for about six months, and the concept behind this thing is very cool. The idea is that you put it on your head, it reads your brain waves, it's an EEG, don't know what that stands for, but it translates your brain signals into sound um, that you listen to either on your phone or through your headphones. So the device itself is just this thing. There's an app that you download, the Muse app. Um, in terms of the device, it's pretty flexible, pretty sturdy. I think I've dropped it a few times. Um, it charges via USB. You can see that. There's a power button in here. I don't think it looks that bad. It comes in black and white. Um, I think it looks fine. A little Spock-ish, but whatever. So it's a good, the material of the device is good. Um, how you use it, you put it on your head, turn it on, download the app. On the app, you choose uh, whether or not you want a long meditation. So you choose the duration, you choose the noise you want in here and you choose whether or not it's gonna be a guided meditation. And then you do what's called a calibration where it has you sit there and just sit normally and just think with your eyes closed while it reads your brain signals and establishes a baseline. After that, you begin the meditation and it reads your, you know, your brain activity relative to the baseline you've established. Um, and at the end of the med meditation, spits out a screen that shows you a graph of your mental activity over the course of the meditation. It gives you something called calm points that uh, is an aggregate of, I don't know, how, how long you were calm for. Um, and it also does something called birds, which is how many times within the session you were calm for, I think, 60 seconds or more. And uh, the idea is to get as many of those as you can. In terms of cost and why I bought it, this thing costs $250 on Amazon last I checked. Um, that sounds like a lot of money and it's definitely not cheap, but the way I thought about it was I wanted to take a meditation course and I wanted to specifically take a transcendental meditation course. When I looked that up, it was $2,500 for that course. This is a tenth of that price. And that course is not like a year, it's only a week long, I should say. Um, which for a nonprofit is kind of crazy. I don't know why they charge that much. But anyway, so I thought my thinking was if it gets me to meditate consistently, that's great. If it can get me to become a better meditator through this feedback system, it will be a home run, at least relative to the cost of a Transcendental Meditation course. So how has it fared? It, I'd say the devil is in the details with this thing. So it definitely works. It definitely gives you feedback. If you move, if you open your eyes, uh, it will, you'll see that in the data. So it can tell if you're like materially distracted. That's, that's something you can do. But in terms of whether or not it can really tell if you're meditating, not really. So there's three things that, three ways in which I think this thing fails. The first and foremost for me is that the sound is actually very distracting. So while I'm meditating, I'm hearing the volume of the rain go up and down over time. And instead of sort of like detachedly thinking about my breath, I'm focusing on whether or not I'm doing good in terms of this sound. And as I understand meditation, at least, you're supposed to be sort of detachedly observing uh, your whatever it is you're focusing on. And playing a game seems in some sense antithetical to that objective. So right now, as I use it, I actually turn the sound all the way down 
and just use it as a way to sort of get an objective sense of how my meditation session went relative to my subjective sense of my meditation. Um, so it's in that sense, it, uh, you know, it hasn't, um, it, it's actually kind of counterproductive. The other way that I think it kind of fails is in terms of how the calibration can be gamed. So every time you start, you calibrate uh, for 30 seconds. And the way it measures how well you're doing is it sort of takes the difference between that baseline calibration and where you are throughout your meditation. So if your calibration is very distracted and then you're very calm, it's going to say you did fantastic. But if your cal calibration is very calm and then you only get a little more calm or sort of say the same, it might say you didn't do that well. And to me, that sort of relativity uh, detracts from the idea that this is a truly objective measure of your mental state and, um, you know, kind of detracts from the idea that it's giving you high quality feedback. The third thing that bothered me about this was that the 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 feedback doesn't necessarily correlate to the exact mental state of like detached observation so for instance i might have a daydream while meditating and i might get lots of bird sounds which is like a good thing but actually i'm just daydreaming and i'm not actually doing what i'm supposed to be doing and vice versa i might be focusing on my breath but sort of every other second, the sound kind of ticks up. And even though I think I'm doing the right thing in terms of what I think of meditation should be, this app is telling me that I'm doing it wrong. I've actually seen some comments about this on the Amazon reviews. And they say that, you know, the type of meditation this is calibrated for is sort of open observation, but not like uh, vinyasa, which is breath observation but to me you know the idea that you can sit there and have a daydream which i think i i let my uh my father use this and he just sat there thinking about his mother and got an incredible score speaks to the idea that uh if you just sit around daydreaming it's going to tell you you're doing great and to me that's that's ridiculous. I mean, that's not what I think meditation should be. I'm not an expert in meditation by any stretch of the imagination, but I'm pretty sure you're not supposed to just sit around daydreaming. Now, having said all that, I think that this could actually be a really powerful tool for people who are sort of absolute beginners at meditation, because I think it's really nice to have the assurance that you're kind of on the right track and I think that if you think that by spending the money, <clears throat> you'll be able to get yourself to sit down and actually meditate, then I think this could actually be a really good thing. You know, I think some of the hardest part of meditation, and again, I'm not an expert, is just getting your butt on the pillow, getting yourself to sit down and take the time to do it. So if this thing can help you just do that, um, then it's probably worth the money, especially if you put it in the context of should I take a, a class um, or not? And, you know, if the class is going to be $200, then maybe it's worth it to take the class. And then, of course, ask yourself, am I the kind of person that learns better from someone telling me what to do? Do I want the guidance of an instructor or do I want, you know, to just sort of try to take it on myself and, uh, and do it myself in my house? Maybe you don't have the time to go to the class. Uh, maybe all the only time you have is 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 in you know in the before you go to bed or whatever. So this can be a, a decent you know thing for that because it's going to tell you if you're looking around and it's going to give you in some sense an objective feedback. So I think it can be helpful, um, especially for someone who's just trying to kind of get their bearings with meditation. But at the same time, it's not perfect. It's not going to, I don't think it's, even if you use it, I don't think it's going to take you in the perfect direction during meditation. Um, you may find that it, it works for you over time, but for me, I'd say I'm okay with it. I'm not blown out of the water, 
but I think it is still a, an amazing concept. And I hope that over time, maybe they'll refine the algorithm or the sensors or something. Um, or maybe just get rid of the damn birds and uh, get it to something that's really great. So if you've had a good experience with it, let me know if you have questions that I can answer. I'll try to answer any that I can. Again, not an expert on meditation. Just wanted to give you some thoughts on my experience with this thing. If you like this video, give me a thumbs up. And if you want to see more videos, hit subscribe. Hopefully I'll catch you later.